Hello everyone, welcome back to Pixie Lou. Today's makeup tutorial I'm going to do for you is a spring summer makeup. Um, we're seeing a lot of those spring summer colours coming through, the sun is coming out, we're all looking forward to our holidays, hopefully. Um, and I just wanted to do a nice, slightly feel better makeup tutorial. Um, I don't know if my sister mentioned in our last video, because I haven't had a chance to watch it, well actually it's not even up yet because I'm filming this early. Uh, our stepdad recently passed away from cancer, which if you watch my video back is why I got a little bit upset in the last video. I didn't mention it because it was something very private to us, um, but it's happened now unfortunately. He fought it so hard, but um, it just got the better of him. So I needed to get out of the house and I needed to do a video. Um, so a spring summer makeup is what I want to do because I want to feel a little bit better and um, So hope you enjoy now. I've already moisturized my skin, but it has settled in quite well into my skin I'm then going to use a primer and I'm really enjoying the primers at the moment because they're doing ones that have a lot of um, Reflex in them or illuminating and I have a dry skin So I need one that's illuminating if I'm going to use one um, I have got this Estee Lauder. This is Illuminating Perfecting Primer. I'm going to pop this all over the skin. Now, actually, I do like the Estee Lauder ones because I, I have three Estee Lauder ones that I use. I use the Victoria Beckham one, um, and then I use this one all the time. This is the Estee Edit Radiance Activator. I've probably used that in quite a few of the videos. Um, I'm just going to take this Estee Lauder one and just buff it into my skin. I'm using an expert face brush to do that. Just work that right into the skin. I need a little clip for my hair, don't I? Um, so I've just worked that into the skin and it's really, really nice and quite matte but still got a lovely glow to it. That's nice on its own, actually. I'm then going to take this. This is um, Giorgio Armani Maestro Glow. The colour is four. I don't have a darker colour, but I'm hoping I can add a little bit of um, bronzer to it afterwards to glow it up a little bit. Now, I like this foundation. I'm going to use the same brush as I used before because it's like you've got nothing on your skin. So I'm just going to really work that into the skin. It literally blends in so beautifully. It is kind of like the makeup that they were wearing at Fashion Week, which was almost nothing. And I can't wear nothing. My skin isn't good enough to wear nothing. I have slight pigmentation, um, slightly fresh colours in my cheeks, my eyes are slightly redder and darker, I don't have one even skin tone. So a foundation like this one just evens it out but doesn't look, oh, but doesn't look like you've got anything on. So there's quite a few of these, this one's much lighter but other foundations that I really like are the um, Elizabeth Arden Privage one which I've used a few times in these videos and I also really love um, Chanel Vita Lumiere. I like that it's so radiant and glowing, but unfortunately it's not great for anyone that doesn't have a dry skin. I have a dry skin so I can get away with it, but if you're normal combination, it's probably going to be too oily for you. But if I'm wrong, please do comment and say. So really work that foundation into the skin doesn't need much working because it does sit like it's part of the skin. And then where you need a little bit more coverage, that's when your concealer comes in. I'm then gonna take an expert concealer and a little bit of Becca concealer. This one is in um, Praline. It's a little bit light, but it's fine because I just wanna take it in this very inner corner bit here. So it doesn't matter if it's a bit light for the in there. So, Basically, I'm putting it on these inner corners because it's light, it's pushing them out, creating a little bit of a lift. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of Diego Della Palma um, concealer. This one is in um, 111. Makeup Studio, this is a dark circles concealer. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit onto the back of my hand. Then using the same brush, I'm going to just brush that over where I've put the other concealer so that they blend together. 
and also run it over my cheeks a tiny bit because that's where I get a little bit of high colouring. So whereas that foundation throughout the day may not cover that area completely, lasting all day is what I mean, by just running a little bit of concealer just over the cheeks, that will mean it will last twice as long. A little bit of that around my nose. Just because it says under eye concealer doesn't mean it can't be used anywhere else. I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Quite Natural Eyeshadow and this brush, which is the medium shadow brush. And I just want to run that over the eyelid. I don't want it to have too much payoff. I just want it to sit, look like there's something there. So when people look at their eyes, they're, they're like, have you got anything on your eyes? A little bit under the eyes as well with that. So it just looks like there's something on there, but you can't quite work out what it is, because it's so light. Next, I'm going to go in with this uh, Marc Jacob liner. Now, you can get so many different liners. This is just the brown liner. Um, these do come in lots of colours, and they are really, really soft, which is why I've chosen it. But um, you can use any liner that you've already got hanging around. This one is called Earthquake, and I'm going to take that inside the waterline, both top and bottom. We haven't really seen dark in the waterline for quite a few seasons, so it's, it's quite nice to have that back. It feels something different. I'm just going to drag that out a tiny bit at the corner, so it makes the eyes look a little bit longer. And then get a little brush. This is the XXXS um, point brush from Multitech and just soften that so it, it's not really there, not meant to do much. I've seen a lot of the um, eyeliner just looking like it is blurring into the underneath which I really like. Also I saw a lot of no mascara looks, now that's not something I can do but I can do less mascara. This um, extended play which I use anyway does pick up a lot less product so it doesn't look like you've got as much on. Now I couldn't not wear mascara. Who would want to not wear mascara? It like frames the eyes. Then I'm going to run a little bit of cream bronzer. This is the hourglass one, which is the one that I use. I do use it in a lot of videos because I use it every day. And I just use the bronzer on a brush and just take that on the top of the cheekbones so it gives you that healthy kind of sun-kissed look through the hairline. Start with the cheeks so the most product is put on the cheek area. Then through the hairline and then what's left on the brush I just run over the nose. So it kind of connects them all up. Now what we're also seeing is a lot of really high shine through the cheekbone. Firstly I want to powder my face so I've got my Charlotte Tilbury powder I'm just going to powder it under my eyes, a little bit around my nose, so anywhere that I get too much shine. This might be great on the catwalk, but we want to wear this in real life, so you want to make sure you're powdering all the areas that you don't want there to be a shine. I'm going to take my bronzer as well over the top of that. This is um, a Victoria Beckham bronzer in Saffron Sun, which I love the colour of. Just let that grab where I haven't powdered the skin, it will grab the bronzer a little bit more. And then on a small brush, this is a multitask eye brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that and just let it sit in the socket. Now what we've also seen is a lot of high shines on the top of the cheekbones and I love that finish. Now normally I use Hush, but these look more wet. They look like a very, very wet finish. So people that have done it well is uh, Natasha Denona. This is the Glow one. Iconic London. This is an illuminator. And this one is my favourite, which is the Ciate. This is um, Dewy Stick. So firstly, I'm going to take the Iconic London one. And I'm going to pop a drop onto the back of my hand. And 
And then I'm going to take my finger and just circular, circular motions, just rub that over the top of the cheek. It's very, very subtle. And that's what we want. We don't want anything that's got a shimmer. It's meant to look wet. Just going to run that down there and a little bit on my cupid's bow. I'm then going to take this Ciate one. You can already see my makeup's been on it. Um, this one is almost like it's it's almost like Vaseline on the cheeks, and you just rub that on. I love it. Now, if you need a really high coverage, you're probably not going to want to go for one of these creamy products on the apples of the cheeks, but swap it for a powder one. Just go for one that hasn't got too much glitter in it. But you can see how beautifully it reflects the light. But it still doesn't look like you've got tons of makeup on, which I loved. Now, we've also been seeing a lot of natural brows. So I'm going to take my pear soap and a spoolie and just soak my brows down a little bit. This is just going to bring the hairs out but hold them into place as well because I have brows that like to go their own way. So first, brush that through. Once I get, once they're starting to dry a little bit, I'm just going to run my finger over them and it just helps the colour to come through a bit more to show the hairs. Oh, just in case you wonder what my nail varnish is, it is um, Revlon Michelle Keegan. So whether you can get that in other countries, because I'm imagining she's only known in the UK. It doesn't have a name. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, 680 Revlon Red. So I imagine you can get that colour anywhere. But it's really nice, apart from it chips a lot, so I have to keep putting more coats on, and I've put base on. I just didn't put a top coat on because I didn't have time. Okay, back to what I was doing. So once that's nice and dried into place, I'm then gonna take a little bit. This is um, Laura Mercier um, eye cream liner in espresso. I'm taking that on a brow brush. It just allows me to draw in a little bit of shape. The brows look pretty natural, the skin looks nice and healthy and glowing and not like there's too much on there. And then onto the lip. Now I'm going to take, I've got a few different colours, I'm going to show you maybe three um, of my favourite colours at the moment. This one is Please Me, which I use a lot and I'm not going to use it with any lip liner. You're just going to take it right over the lip. So it just gives a little bit of colour and shape to the lip. I need to use a lip blur brush. Just to take away a little bit of that product. So there's something on there. It's not a liquid lip, so it's not really, really bold. It's not um, really, really hardly, harshly lip lined. It's just almost disappears. So it's there, but it's really, really soft focus. Let me try a different colour. These are my colours that I like at the moment. So obviously, opt for whatever suits you. This one is a Revlon one in Matte Balm and it is 240, uh, strikingly spectacular. I always think Revlon do these well. So no lip line again. And really soften that out so it's almost like a bit of a stain. And then the other ones that I really like, and I mentioned these in my last video, are the Clinique one. Um, what one should I go for? This one is Graffiti Pop. They're nice. Those lipsticks are amazing. You can use a tissue to take some of the lipstick down a bit. Because I like the lipstick payoff, but I want it to look more like a stain. And there you have the finished spring summer makeup look. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye. I just decided to put a strong lip on. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I've put on red lip liner with a little bit of 
MAC um, Fashion Legacy over the top, or this one first and then a lip liner over the top, because life's too short to be safe. 